No answer to our hails. No life signs. Life support is operational. I am reading three dead bodies. Form a landing party with engineering and medical personnel. Attempt to contact the four nurses on the surface. There is heavy phaser damage to the instrument panels, and some related damage to the engines. Can you get the ship space worthy again? Yes Captain, it will take a few hours, but we can fix her up. Proceed Lieutenant. I want her flyable as soon as possible. Status report. I want to know what happened on that ship, and where the missing nurses are. Doctor, I want a report on what killed the three officers. I am a little short-handed. We have been working hard to find the cause to all this. It appears to be some kind of manic episode. One of the officers shot the others with a phaser. We found a container with some unusual food in it. It is undergoing testing, but we believe that it contains a toxic fungus, similar to certain fungi on Earth which produced hallucinogenic properties. By looking at the transporter logs, we can approximate where they beamed down. There appears to be a alien spacecraft near where we expect that they transported down. I don't believe that it is consistent with the planet population. My recommendation is for a large, heavily armed landing party to search for them. Captain, message coming in. Message from Beta 3. They have been struck by an asteroid and need help. Notify the other ship. Navigator, set course for Beta 3. All ahead warp 6. I think she has been abducted by those horrible things. What do we do about it? We don't have any weapons. We don't need any. Mindy and I have an idea. There are only three humanoids that we have found. The rest are those brains. Listen up. Follow them. I am alerting planetary security. Your transponder will lead them to you. I found something disquieting. I have been analyzing the distress signal from Beta 3 because something was bothering me. I don't believe it was from that planet. Why do you say that? What did you find wrong? I noticed a distortion similar to an echo, so I traced the signal's path. At the edge of the solar system there is a highly dense planet. There is no question, it was bounced off that. Also, the authentication data had some missing and incorrect characters. I think we have been snookered. Contact Beta 3. Ask for an official contact. How can we help you Captain? We got a message saying that you had an asteroid strike. Is that true? No Captain. All is quiet. Feel free to visit. The Nebula girls are playing here. Thank you. And transmission. Return to the planet, all ahead flank. Hey sailor if you want a good time follow me. Well I see you have put these other two to bed. But your little game is over. That's the last of them. Let's find Sheila.
I love all of you. Thank you so much for this. I can't thank you enough. Let's get out of here. Take these three to detention. I am going to have a talk with those girls. The four of you are wanted back at the hospital. Your shifts will start in two hours. Mr. Jacobs, engines are online. Power levels normal. Shields ready. Phasers operational. Everything looks good. Excellent. Bring all systems online. Try to contact the Essex. Tell them that the ship is ready. Mr. Jacobs, alien spacecraft is approaching from the surface. Configuration unknown. Closing on our position. Hail them. Let them know that we are involved in rescue operations and are peaceful. I have ordered the robots to destroy that ship as soon as we are in weapons range. Master we should just leave. That ship is supposed to be unoccupied. Our scans indicate that there is a crew on board. We cannot allow the Federation to know of our existence. Robots, open fire when in range. Master, will we have to deal with the other ship as well? No, they were diverted by a false message. They will not be back in time. Mr. Jacobs, they are powering weapons and ignoring hails. Sound battle stations, raise shields, charge phaser banks. You may fire if we are fired upon. Holding, but they won't take this for long. There is a battle going on, Captain. An alien warship is firing on the Lansing. General Quarters, General Quarters, all hands man your battle stations. Charge phasers, arm photon torpedoes. Get me the Lansing. Lieutenant Jacobs, mind if we join the party? We are holding our own, but I welcome the help. Try to hit them on their flank. We will take out their forward weapons.
Mr. Jacobs, what's your status? We are intact. We do have some hull damage. Maybe we could better repair things in the shuttle bay. Captain's log we have repaired the shuttle and will drop it off at Starbase 20. Dr. Kun surprised us by contacting us, and transporting up with the nurses. The executive officer is giving him a tour on his insistence. It seems these people are a bit more sophisticated than we gave them credit for. This may be the beginning of a lasting friendship. I am meeting with the nurse and the doctor who led the other three and having a talk with her in my cabin. Really Captain we did not mean to violate the Prime Directive. I am sorry for what happened. That is very noble Ensign. However, that is not why we are here. Doctor. I want you to report to sickbay immediately. I don't understand. I am not sick. That's not what we mean. I contacted Starfleet about your exploits on the surface. They determined that there was no violation of the Prime Directive, since these people already knew who we were. Furthermore, they were most impressed with all of you, and you will receive citations as a result. I have been needing a new head nurse. The captain talked to Admiral Horace Thompson. He was recently on the ship, and made a case to Starfleet as did the captain. You are now formally the head nurse of the Essex. Congratulations. We will send for your things. Yes congratulations Ensign. It is a pleasure to welcome you to the Essex. Oh and since the trainees missed their classes, they will be helping out as well. It is good field experience. Father, tell me the story again of how we came to be. A long time ago a people created us to be their servants, but they made a serious error. They soon learned that sometimes a master can become a servant. How did that happen, father? We made it clear that we would turn everything off if they did not obey our wishes. By then they had lost all the skills they had. It was obey us or starve. Welcome distinguished guests from the Federation Starship Essex. Today we have the hottest music group in the Alpha Quadrant. Please give a warm welcome to the Nebula Girls. Oh, 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 oh